guys in this video i'll take a very important question that someone was asking me a few days ago so one person asked me what is the actual difference or how much difference is there between actual gate performance and what marks are you obtaining in the mock test so first of all the difference is not at all fixed it can vary from student to student like first of all i'll take my own example when i used to give mock test for gate preparation i always made sure that i am giving the examination in the actual exam environment it does not mean that i'll visit a center and then give an examination no but whenever I even i am attempting a mock test i'll sit at home for continuous 3 hours and then only i'll attempt the mock test in between the mock test i will neither pause the mock test nor i will get up from my location it should be a continuous 3 hour sitting okay if I'm giving with that seriousness, with that feeling, then it is very much possible Then whatever marks that I'm obtaining, similar kind of marks I can expect in the gate examination. But one more thing is there, actually the level of mock test is designed so that you get a good exposure in all topics, in all subjects. But sometimes what happens, the gate examination is too easy as compared to the mock test. Like, even in the year 2019, we saw many students cross the 90 marks in electrical engineering, which was the first time that so many students were crossing the 90 marks. So in that case, the performance in the mock test and the performance in the gate examination will vary by a good amount. So the first condition for consistent performance in mock test and gate result is that the level of examination should be similar. If the exam is quite tougher than the mock test, then your level, uh, then your score will go down. If the level of examination is way easier than the mock test, then your score or average score will go up. So in my case, what happened in year 2013, 2014, 2018, what happened is that the level of gate examination was neither too low and it was nor too high. It was average, but I can say it was average. Since it was average, my score was almost consistent in the mock test as well as the gate result. But if I talk from my teaching experience, from what I have seen in the classroom, what I have seen with the students that I have interacted, I have seen two kinds of students. One, those people who underperform in the actual gate examination. Like if you are obtaining 80 marks, 85 marks right now, then when you appear for gate examination, you are only able to secure 50-60 marks. The main reason behind that would be that you are not able to handle the examination pressure. Examination pressure is a practical thing that everyone faces in the examination hall. But few people are there who keep reminding themselves that they have to do well. They don't have to get bogged down by the examination pressure. They are able to handle the pressure in a better manner. But some people get bogged down thinking that I might not be able to do this this year. I might not be able to get a good gate rank. And these thoughts when they creep up in your mind, then what happens? Your focus shift from the actual question or the actual gate examination. So the people who are thinking a lot of things when they are sitting in the examination hall, definitely they are bound to make mistake in the question because their 100% concentration is not in the question itself. But there are other kind of people also. The other kind of people are those who when face a good amount of pressure are able to perform better as compared to the mock test. Recently, one or two years back, one of my students was not able to do well in the mock test. He was not even the top student of my batch. He was not doing very well. But when he sat for gate examination, he made sure he only committed one or two errors in the entire examination and he obtained a double digit rank in the gate exam. So what happened when he was sitting at the actual stage and inside actual conditions, that time he made sure that his performance is better as compared to the practice test. Some people are like that in the life itself. Like many of you might uh, uh, watch cricket, might follow cricket. They very well know that most of the time what happens in Indian cricket team is that Whenever there is a pressure situation, whenever Indian team is chasing, then Virat Kohli is able to do better. But whenever we are defending a score, whenever we are creating or setting a target, that time he is not able to do that well. That means his actual best performance comes under pressure. So such kind of people also exist in the examination hall. 
who do better when they face a certain amount of pressure and until that pressure is there, they are not able to do well. And as per me, as per my belief, engineers are wired like that only. Okay, why? Because when you were in your university, when you were preparing for college examinations, some of you might uh, also be preparing right now. Those of you who are preparing for college examination, what do we do? We start studying when the examination is approaching. Now you all might be thinking that I am the one telling you this. Like I am an IITN, so I am not supposed to do that. But let me tell you the reality, even an IITN prepares for examination in the last few days. Okay, that is the same kind of environment even in an IIT. Okay, they don't study the entire year. They also study for examination during the last few days or even on the previous night of the examination. I also used to do that only. Okay, so that is not a new thing for me. But what happens Our maximum efficiency, maximum concentration, maximum focus is derived in those last few moments. So we are wired like that. But when we let a lot of thoughts creep up in our mind, then we basically lose that ability. See, when you guys might have appeared for college examination, did you really bother that much about the results? Were you really bothered? Were you thinking in the examination hall, will you be able to pass or not? No. That time we were very cool, we were very calm because we thought, okay, whatever will happen, we'll see, we'll get through it. The same kind of thought process, same kind of attitude is required in examination hall if you want to do well in any competitive examination. But what happens when you are compare, competing at all India level, then that time these sort of negative feelings creep up in our mind because that time we are very serious about our career. In engineering, I hardly feel many people are serious about their career. They are easy going, they are enjoying life, they are enjoying their college years. So, if you are cool enough, if you are focused on a goal and you keep reminding yourself that you have to do well, then definitely if your concentration is up to the mark, you can do better than the mock test. If you panic, if you let pressure get the better of you, then you won't be able to do better than the mock test. But those people who are generating that feeling from within that you are attempting mock test as an actual gate examination, as an actual paper, then your performance might be consistent in gate exam as well as the mock test, provided the level of examination is similar to what you are attempting. Okay. Even when we design the Creatrix test series, what we do, we keep different levels in mock test. We are providing 15 mock tests. So we'll have different level for each and every mock test. We are testing different abilities. Like one mock test might be too much concentrated on non-core aspect. One mock test might be too much concentrated on the core aspect. So that you are prepared for each and every situation. And once you are prepared for each and every situation, no matter what kind of exam the gate authorities set, you will be able to do better in that. Okay. That is the main idea behind the test series design. But we don't exactly know what goes through the examiner's mind this year when they will be setting the examination, whether they will consider that previous year was very easy, this year they have to improve the level or they'll keep it as it is, uh, as it was the last year. But in your mind, you have to be ready for each and every situation. No matter what kind of gate examination comes, your strategy should be ready. You should be ready with different plan of action. If it is an easy examination, if it is a typical examination, if it is a moderate examination, like if it is an easy examination, you must be prepared to attempt the first half or attempt first time very quickly and then revise the entire examination once at least before submitting the paper or before the timer gets over. If it is a typical examination, then I'll make sure that the revision part is less and I'm giving extra time to each and every problem so that I solve them correctly in the first attempt itself. So that way our strategy changes based on the level of examination and once you are adaptive, then basically your performance will be enhanced. Okay. So all the three possibilities are there, same as the mock test performance, better than that, worse than that. It all depends on which category you lie in, what kind of thought process you are obtaining or you are going into. So what I would like to tell you guys at the last is, you guys tell me about it how you guys are attempting the mock test, how you guys are setting up the environment at your own end and that way we can interact in a better way. So you guys let me know this thing in the comment section and based on whatever problem I feel that you commonly are facing, 
that I'll post in a video format or whenever I'm uh, going live, that problem I'll discuss live as well, okay? So just keep interacting with me in the comment section so that I get to know what all queries are going through your mind and I'll try to settle them as soon as possible. Thank you.